This is Larry Stoll from Pace Turf again, and today I want to spend just a little time talking about wind and the impact of wind or lack of wind on the survival of the cool season grasses, primarily in the transition zones and drier areas of the country. But in some years, uh, even uh, the northern climates, when it gets very hot, humid, and with low wind. Uh, the cool season grasses can tolerate temperatures up to 110, 115 degrees uh, as long as there is wind in the system because they have the ability to cool their foliage in the canopy uh, by evapotranspiration. Uh, that all works fine just as long as there's a breeze of at least four miles an hour because it takes some wind to shear off the, a layer of uh, the gases and moisture on the leaf surfaces before it'll cool. So if you don't have a decent wind, then that temperature within the canopy of those grasses is going to increase and it will increase to 10 to 15 degrees higher than the ambient temperature. So when you start to approach 95 degrees out there, uh, bent grasses and blue grasses uh, start to suffer in annual blue grasses in that, in that group. And if it's very calm weather, uh, it will re result in devastating turf grass losses. I'm going to show you just a quick test to demonstrate the uh, impact of wind in the field just using a simple little fan, a portable fan, and some thermocouples and, a, and an infrared thermometer just to give you an idea of uh, what happens when there is wind or there isn't wind. And then that will also give you an idea of how complicated uh, the interactions between wind and the location of a green on uh, a golf course and certain greens get better airflow than others and if there's trees surrounding the area or a building blocking the airflow you can have a condition that will result in a green actually heating up uh, to levels that will kill that grass pretty easily. Let's take a look at how the, uh, how the fans work and how those temperatures drop with wind and how they increase again uh, when the wind shuts down. One of the great indicators of wind speed at a golf course are the flags on the pins. You can see we've got good air movement with this flag blowing in the breeze. But if you look just across the couple of fairways, you can see there's another green where the flag is just hanging down limp as can be. That's a potential problem in hot conditions when it's humid. To give you an idea of how wind impacts canopy temperatures or that, that layer of turf, uh, the verdure, the green part of the turf where the bulk of the new tissues are formed, we set up this simple system with the video camera on the top, a little fan mounted on the leg of the tripod, and then we used a, a bead thermocouple to get right down into the canopy to measure the temperature and we also used an infrared thermometer that gives us the sur surface temperatures of the grass. Here we have the infrared thermometer looking at the surface temperature and it says it's 79.3 right around that uh, that temperature it has a max reading and now we turn the fan on and we can watch the temperatures drop from 79 down to 69 is 10 degrees there uh, coming up on 15 degrees and in the end, this will drop down all the way uh, to uh, 20 degrees below the uh, initial temperature before the fan was turned on. I'm going to go ahead and speed up time on this clip now so that we can see how it uh, shows up in the end. But this is a very dramatic reduction in temperatures. It's well below the ambient air temperatures because of the cooling effect of that water evaporating off the, fan off. Off the turf. So it's a very uh, dramatic example of, of how uh, this cooling effect of the canopy keeps that turf alive as long as there's wind. Now we've turned the fan off and we're going to watch the temperature uh, return to the uh, elevated temperature without the wind. This is what I'm going to speed up so it won't take so long. So here we are at double speed coming back up from uh, the low, low temperature of 59 and it'll roll all the way back up to uh, 79.3 illustrating how fast that uh, that temperature can accumulate in just a matter of a, of a couple of minutes uh, without the fan on. This is the bead thermocouple. The arrow is pointing it out. It's a very small temperature measuring device that allows us to stick it into the canopy of the turf without causing a lot of disturbance to the temperature of the turf where we're sticking it in. And it'll allow us to measure the temperature in a very small area so we can watch the impact of the fan when we turn it on. 
the ambient temperature is about 80 degrees and then we're going to next uh, series of images will show what it uh, goes up to when you stick the thermocouple into the canopy. So as soon as we stick the thermocouple into the canopy we're seeing that the temperature goes up to about 95 degrees. It's almost a 15 degree increase. When we turn the fan on as we've done here we'll be able to see that temperature drop down. It's not as dramatically as the surface temperature measurements uh, we observed with the uh, infrared thermometer but it shows you uh, a little bit more what's happening just a little bit below the surface of that uh, that canopy and the reason that's important is because that's where all of the new leaves develop from and if you kill that little piece of tissue at the tip that's called the meristem the plant will die there just isn't it will not make any more leaves from that particular growing tip so it's important to keep these temperatures uh, down but we can see uh, the the temperature drop uh, fairly dramatically and in the end we'll find out that the temperature will drop about 10 degrees uh, with this wind and the wind speed that we're getting out of this small fan is about five miles an hour uh, so it exceeds that four mile an hour lower limit that you have to have to make sure that the wind will be adequate to cool the turf uh, so that you don't have damage even when temperatures get up uh, into the into the 90 degree range so there's a few factors you have to remember uh, the canopy temperature is going to be 10 to 15 degrees higher than the ambient air temperature when there's no wind and you can knock that uh, almost back to the ambient air temperature if you have wind. So in many locations where the ambient temperature reaches 100 or even can exceed 100 degrees as long as there's wind, uh, bent grasses can frequently survive. But it, there can be cases where you have just a few days or even one day where there's an extended period, several hours, where there's no wind and the air temperatures are above 95 to 100 degrees, that that canopy temperature can get into the 115 to 120 degree range that will kill a lot of those cool season grasses. So that just gives you an idea of how the uh, canopy temperatures can increase and decrease as a function of wind, not just ambient temperature. Well, I hope you got a little bit of a feel for how wind impacts the temperatures of the canopy of turf grasses and how uh, lack of wind will result in those grasses heating up and having thermal stress. Uh, so if you have conditions where there there is some barrier blocking the wind, it could be the, uh, the design of the green in a, in a hole a little bit with some uh, mountains behind it or some trees around it or even buildings around it that prevent the wind from flowing. If that's the case, then fans are definitely going to be needed if your air temperatures exceed 95 any, any amount of time during the year. In most cases, if you have um, good fans and you keep the, the air moving at four miles per hour or more, you can do a pretty good job of keeping some of the cool season turf grasses alive even in a pretty severe uh, summer condition as long as the relative humidity isn't too high. Uh, if it's uh, 95 degrees and it's been raining and it's wet, then there's just some situations where uh, you just might not be able to save that grass and we've seen some situations uh, where that happens and it happens somewhere every year. We hope you enjoyed this video and uh, keep an eye on the wind and do whatever you can to increase the airflow across those greens, even if it uh, means removing a few trees.